Hey, it's a weeknight. So this time of year is my favorite time of year. And it's one of those times of year where so many great recipes to share. And so I'm trying to squeeze in as many as possible between Thanksgiving and New Year's. <clears throat> this is one of our favorites. We're going to make hamburger soup. But the twist for my smoke shack is we're going to do it on the Blackstone. So this is going to make a very big batch of soup. And what we do with it is we save some for dinner tonight. Then we save back some for lunches or a meal later in the week, which we just refrigerate. The remainder we put in one quart or, you know, smaller containers and it freezes really nice. And then you can pull it out whether you want it for lunch or another dinner. It does really well with, you know, rolls. It's just a really good fall winter comfort food. So let's get cracking. I've got all the ingredients laid out that we're going to take out to the Blackstone. And starting with our hamburger, what we've got here is we've got three pounds of hamburger. I know it's a lot of meat. I like a lot of hamburger in my soup. And the way I mix this up is you're going to want two pounds of 93%, 7% lean. And then you're going to want one pound of ground truck. And that fat's going to give us, you know, a little bit of necessary fat in the soup. But the rest of the hamburger is going to be very lean. So that's the first step. Then we have two pounds, I know it seems like a lot, again, of tricolor cabbage mix, uh, coleslaw mix. So this is uh, got some nice color in it. I like to use the color. You can use straight cabbage if you want. And obviously, as I go through this, if you want to make a small version, all you got to do is cut this down proportionately, and it works perfectly. Okay, then next what we're going to do is we're going to have our frozen vegetables. I've got approximately two and a half pounds of frozen mixed vegetables here. For our base, for our stock, we're going to use V8 juice. You can use the straight V8. And those, I believe, are 46 fluid ounce containers. We got three of them. We add spicy hot to ours to give it a little extra zing. Then finally, when you're all done, about 15 to 20 minutes before you're ready to serve for the first time, I always use Bush's original baked beans in this recipe and they've never let me down. Finally, our condiments, We've got a little Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, basically salt and pepper. And then as I cook down the slaw, um, I'm using just a little bit of canola oil on the Blackstone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hamburger out to the Blackstone. We're gonna get our stock pot out there and get the tomato juice in that get things going with the vegetables you'll see it's all going to come together great okay we're out at the blackstone i'm going to do a video to basically show you how i modified this green egg table to hold the blackstone and how i've done it but this is a really good setup but let's get going i've got it heating up i've had it heating up now for about 15 minutes i gave it a little drizzle of canola oil on my cooking surface and I've got my stock pot over here in the corner ready to go. The first part of this is pretty simple. We're going to add our V8 juice. And there is a lot of heat coming off that. Eventually we're going to need to turn that zone down just to a simmer. And so we're going to add, as I mentioned before, these are 46 fluid ounce. V8 jugs, V8 containers, and we're gonna add three of them. And that's gonna be our soup stock base. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and get my hamburger on here. I'm going to go ahead and put my hamburger press back here over the grease trap because I want to keep all the juice, especially that comes out of that 80-20 meat. I want that on the top of the blackstone surface because it makes a really nice starting point for my cabbage when I get ready to fry up my shredded cabbage. So we're going to let this go for a minute. 
and we're going to go back to our soup pot. And we're going to add our mixed vegetables. Give that a little stir. And let that heat up. Go back over here. And we just want to brown up our hamburger before we add it into our soup mixture. Right here, I'm using my Blackstone cooking hood. Um, it really comes in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my affiliate page so you guys can find it. It's uh, it's just a super great thing to have with the Blackstone. I use it all the time, no matter what I'm making. It gives it the ability to uh, help your stuff cook down. And we're gonna use that for a few minutes here on our hamburger. Okay. We've been browning our hamburger now for about seven minutes. The blackstone is on full heat. I'm going to give it a shot of pepper. I'm going to put some more pepper on my cabbage when I get to that stage. So, as you can see, the, the hamburger is really nice and browned up. I, you know, the, the thing that's difficult when you're doing this recipe is, remember, it is a soup. The soup is going to simmer for quite a long time. You don't want to overcook the hamburger at this point. So that's about where I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and add it into my stock. I can't say enough about these paddles. They're also manufactured by Blackstone really good thing to have make it very simple and easy all right before any of that burns away I want to quickly get my cabbage down because I want it in that that grease and then I'm gonna give my cabbage a shot of oil to help it out that's canola oil you can use pretty much anything you want there now I'm going to get this spread out, but again, I want to get this to, to really fry down. Man, you can already smell the, the flavor of that hamburger juice coming up through the cabbage. It's, it's a really awesome aroma. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that under there for a minute. While that's working, I'm going to stir in that hamburger I just added over here. segment of this you can do all of this in a Dutch oven on the on the stove inside you don't have to have a Blackstone I just happen to like doing pretty much everything I do either on the Blackstone or the large green egg or both it's really cooking down really nicely I'm going to get all that nice and fried down. Fried down is the uh, technical term I'm going to use. Get a nice brown on it. Put the lid back on it. We're going to let that go for another couple minutes and we'll check it here in a few minutes. All right, so it's been a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and check our coleslaw mix, our, our cabbage mix. I love the color. I think that's just so much more entertaining than boring straight white cabbage. And 
And again, I have to give credit to Grandma Talbot, who was the one who taught, taught me this recipe. Still need a little time. About time to put the lid on the soup pot. I always watch some of the cooking shows, some of the popular chefs that are on TV or on cable. And I see the amount of salt that they use and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could never get away with using that much salt. And now that I'm attempting to do this myself, um, I realize I use a lot of salt. Okay, so this cabbage looks like it's almost there. We're gonna give it just a few more minutes. Cooking down really nicely. We want it to hold a little bit of its consistency in the soup. It just gives it a really crazy, awesome texture. Just adds to the comfort in comfort soup. So we're gonna go ahead and let that continue to simmer down. We'll give it another three to four minutes. How about this? Let's just give it four minutes and uh, we'll check it back in four minutes. Okay, it's been four minutes. We're going to go ahead and check the cabbage and it is ready. That's the look we're going for right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tri-color coleslaw mix. What a great way to repurpose coleslaw mix. In the pot we go. Over the years, I've done different variations of this recipe. I've used carrots, I've put mushrooms in. You can be creative. You can really kind of do whatever you want to do with it. Make it your own, experiment, have fun with it. The basic stock is simple. Um, hamburger kind of lends itself to this red stock and then the vegetables. It's, uh, it's truly a comfort soup. And that is the soup. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this simmer for quite a while, minimum of an hour, and we're gonna crank the heat down. I'm gonna leave it out here. You could easily just take it in, put it on your stove at this point. Or if you're not fortunate to have a black stone, you can do the whole thing on the stove in a Dutch oven, transfer it to a stock pot. And then when we're, when we're about 20 minutes from dinner time, um, 20, 30 minutes from dinner time, I'm gonna add the baked beans. That's the final step. And the reason we wait is because um, we don't want those beans to kind of lose their integrity when we're letting this uh, soup simmer. Um, so that, that's when we add the big beans. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, catch you back in about an hour and a half my time. It's only gonna be a few seconds for you guys. So I went ahead and moved the uh, stock pot in on the stove. Um, I don't have any problem with using regular appliances, um, but it just seems simpler while we let it simmer down, work on some other things. So it's been simmering for about an hour. We're gonna wanna eat dinner probably in about 30, 40 minutes. So this is when it's a good time to go ahead and add the beans. So I've got three cans, as I mentioned earlier, of our, did I mention I'm a messy cook? Three cans of Bush's Original Baked Beans. And I am a messy cook. Probably splashing on the camera right now. So this soup has everything, as you have now seen. We're gonna give it a little bit of a stir. And this all, this has all the major food groups. And we're gonna go ahead and throw some ciabatta bread, New York Bakery ciabatta bread, one of my favorite things in the whole world. We're gonna throw that in the oven. 
when that's done, um, we'll be pretty close to ready to eat. Okay, the bread is ready. The ciabatta bread is ready. And the soup is good to go. I'm gonna do this kind of carefully, because I'm messy. I tend to be a tad bit messy. Did you ever notice that we really have large portions on this channel? Yeah, it's amazing we don't weigh like 300 pounds. There you go. I'm really hungry. Let's eat.